थ्री एक्स माइनस टू वाई थ्री एक्स माइनस टू वाई अपॉन टू एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई टू एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई इक्वल्स टू फाइव बाई सिक्स दिस इज इक्वल टू फाइव बाई सिक्स देन वन ऑफ द वैल्यूज ऑफ द गिवन एक्सप्रेशन हियर राइट क्यूब रूट ऑफ एक्स प्लस क्यूब रूट ऑफ वाई डिवाइड बाई क्यूब रूट ऑफ एक्स माइनस क्यूब रूट ऑफ वाई होल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू वॉट वॉट वी कैन डू हियर इज क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई एंड फाइंड आउट द रेशियो बिटवीन एक्स एंड वाई right here the ratio between two terms is given to us let us find out the ratio between the two variables so cross multiply what happens 6 3s 18x minus uh, 12y equals to 5 2s is 10x plus 15y so upon simplification what do we get 18x minus 10x 8x equals to 27y or we can say x by y equals to 27 by 8 now understand this x by y equals to 27 by 8 is what a ratio It doesn't mean that x is 27 and y is 8. X will be a multiple of 27 and y will be a multiple of 28. You're getting it? We can say that x is equal to 27 n and y is equal to 8 n. It can be any multiple of 27 and y can be any multiple of. I mean, of course, both n have to be common for x and y, but many possibilities are there, right? Infinite possibilities are there. X can be 27, y can be 8, x can be 54, y can be 16, x can be 81, y can be 24, right? X can be 108, y can be 32 and so on. Or or x can be 270, y can be 80, right? These are some of the examples. That is the reason if you read the question properly, he says find out one of the values of the given expression. He is not asking us to find out the value of the expression. One of the values. You are getting it? Now the easiest way to find out one of the values is just to put x equals to 27n and y equals to 8n, because we are not depending on n here, right? We are taking the common factor out, right? The highest common factor out, which is n between x and y. So substitute this now. Cube root of uh, x. What is x here? 27n plus cube root of y. What is y? 8n upon again cube root of 27n. Minus cube root of 8n, whole squared, whole squared. So if if you see this cube root of 27 can be written as 3. So this is like 3 cube root of n plus 2 cube root of n divided by in the denominator again 3 cube root of n minus 2 cube root of n, whole squared. Again cube root of n in the numerator and denominator gets cancelled. That's the whole objective of taking 27n and 8n, right? In fact, if you know, you can directly substitute 27 and 8 as well. Substitute 27 and 8, and you will get the answer. You don't have to worry about n. But I'm just trying to explain you why it works out this way, right? We are not trying to, uh, I mean, find out what exactly is the answer. We are just trying to take the general form of x and y in terms of n, where n is the highest common factor. So root n cube root of n gets cancelled. What are we left with? 3 plus 2, 5 divided by 3 minus 2, 1. 5 by 1 whole square. 5 by 1 whole square. So 25 is your answer. Right, twenty-five option two would be your answer. You getting it? X equals to a power one by two, a power one by two plus a power minus one by two, whereas y is equal to a power one by two, right? Minus a power minus one by two. Then what is the value of this uh, given expression here? Right, x power four minus I'll, I'll write it separately. Right, we have to find the value of what x power four minus x squared y squared minus one plus y power four minus x squared y squared plus one. Again, like we have discussed, trigonometry, algebra go by substitution, right? Clearly, the question here is independent of a. I mean, a x has been given in terms of a, y also has been given in terms of a. I can substitute any value for a a there, right? Put some value of a, get the you know get the result of x and y, and use that result of x and y in this uh, expression to find out the answer. You getting it? Answer is independent of a in my view. Independent of a meaning you can put any value for a there. Of course, remember not to put something which can make the answer undefined, right? Or or goes to infinity something like that. So let's substitute a equals to one. Assume a equals to one. Because there is no condition given on a. If there is any condition, we would have followed that. But there is no condition. Assume a is equal to one. So what will be the value of x? X will be equal to see one power one by two plus. It's like this, you know, root one plus one by root one. 
because a power minus 1 by 2 is 1 by a power 1 by 2. So, 1 by root 1, which is overall 1. How about y? y will be equal to 1 or root 1 minus 1 by root 1, which is equal to 0. Done. So, we know that x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0. Substitute both these values in the expression here. So, what do we get? Here, what do we get? 1 power 4 minus, anyway, this is 0 minus 1 plus this is 0 minus 0 plus 1. Are you getting it? But options are no way close, right? Options are like 12, 14, 16, 13. How is that possible? Let me just check. Oh, sorry. I think x is equal to 2. I'm sorry about this. x will come out to be 2. I'm so sorry. You can't be committing such mistakes in the exam, right? Root 1 plus 1 by root 1 is 2. I took it as 1. Yeah, so this is 2. x equals to 2 and y equals to 0. So this will be 2 power 4. 2 power 4. So, how much is this? 16 minus 1 plus 1 comes out to be 16. That's your answer. Option 3.